how these are populated are through our other component, which is the blueprint component for recipe book, which represents the knowledge the player has. Uh, it has these variables here called known recipes, uh, where you just add the data table recipes and the row name you want the player to know. And this information is then read so that it brings out all of these recipes as knowledge from the data tables uh, to be used later on. So here in the get full recipe list here. So whenever we try to craft, oh, also I should mention that we have created this uh, crafting table, which represents an area where you need to be to be able to craft. So when the recipe book here gets the message from the player that it has gotten so close that it gets this press E to craft message. If the player presses E, it sends a message to the blueprint component that it wants to try and craft, which is this. Uh, that's the wrong one. No, there. Attempt to open crafting. So then it will check, is the player currently overlapping uh, something? Then we need to go through and see if one of those objects it's overlapping is implementing this function or this interface for crafting enabled. So this could be a crafting table like in this case, or it could be an area like a safe base or something like that, or some other object that you place in the world to make sure that the player doesn't uh, isn't able to craft wherever you want to. So that's essentially what this is uh, supposed to emulate. And if it is able to craft because it is within the, the range of something that allows it to craft, then we take the known recipes, send them in here so we get the full list back to send to our user interface. And this again is going to our actual player and the player itself is going to be funneling that information from the start crafting UI function over here and sending it to its HUD. And the HUD in its turn will then send this information down to uh, its uh, crafting reference widget. The crafting reference widget in turn will then uh, in different ways, either if there uh, needs to craft a widget, create a widget for the first time, or if there's just an update, it's essentially very similar. Uh, so it will update the recipes either in the creation or in this update here, uh, which recipes are known to the player and should be displayed. And we create uh, widgets representing these things in the crafting widget. So if we go to the crafting widget over here, you can see here that we have on event, we update the recipes over here. Updating the recipes is the function that we called otherwise if we already had it created. And we could just go through and clean up some uh, events if we had them assigned earlier. We clean up the, the, the widget containers and our references for our widgets uh, because we're going to be creating new ones. And also this might be uh, non-performant. You might want to handle this in a better way, but for the purposes of this, I think it's okay. Um, we are then looping through all of the recipes that were sent in and creating a widget for each of them. So each button that is created in here represents one of those recipes that we knew. Then we also save the widget references. We create an event for an event inside. If we press one of those buttons, and we say that we want to place it in a certain container in the widget uh, framework essentially for this uh, parent widget or what to call it. And what happens is if we click on a specific button, we are selecting that recipe. And if we select the recipe, this function or this event will trigger for us. We will then make sure to set the button for being able to craft to be enabled or disabled, depending on if we meet the requirement for all the components. We will set this recipe to be able to have it later. And then we will display all the crafting components for the player uh, with this function. So that is essentially how that works. And this is how that looks. So if we pick up all of these items, we have enough to craft all the items that we are able to right here. So if we click on wall, 
you see all of our items appear here and we can see that the left uh, hand number represents how many are required and the right hand represents how many we have and we fulfill the requirements of all these different things uh, the white squares here represent icons which we did not implement any logic for or anything like that but just to show that this is where you could place it or have something like that the descriptions here come from the items themselves uh, and clicking between these you can see that it updates and if we were to create the wooden board which apparently requires two nails you can see that we have created a, a wooden board now we got some debug messaging for that we reduced the nails and now we can uh, no longer craft a wall because we don't have enough nails available we need four but we only have two and you can see that the craft button is disabled for that so that's essentially how that works um, and now we can also print our inventory by pressing one and you'll see what we actually have here available to us if we want to as a debug at any time since we don't actually have any visuals for the inventory system since it's very simplistic um, I do believe that should be everything I think everything else is self-explanatory if you just follow uh, the different calls and the different logics uh, to different places uh, hopefully you feel like everything is named in such a way that it's uh, descriptive uh, I had some um, uh, feelings about wanting to change some of the names in, in uh, afterwards like crafting details might not be the best word we might want to have like crafting components or something like that so if you want you can always like rename these to be better fitted now that the project is complete so all the references will be uh, realigning if you wanted to of course uh, yeah uh, hopefully that makes sense oh also the, the crafting table was very simple it ha just has a, um, a simple mesh to represent the table an area to represent the, the overlapping and uh, a script for actually just showing the text of uh, this interaction text over here uh, so it's press e to craft when you are within that overlap area essentially uh, so that's all that that does uh, nothing more advanced than so anyway i hope all of that made sense you were able to follow along and more importantly that you learned something uh, yeah take care Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.